second quarter. Watch Evan Turner. Evan Turner is going to back down Russ and shoot over him. And then watch this. Oh, we rock the baby. Rock oh. the baby and poke the bear. I didn't even see it, honestly. I didn't see it. You can rock right back to the <laughs> <laughs> You lie, where's the bell? We need to ring that because the very next possession, Westbrook gets the ball and does this. Oh, I'm gonna throw that three up. By the way, Turner only had four points in the game. Russ had more. Westbrook gonna get by CJ McCollum and C. And then over Yusuf Nurkic. Oh, we're gonna talk some trash. No, you didn't hear him rock the baby. You didn't see that happen. Liar. Paul George, steal. Big, big dunk. He had 36 points in this game and five steals. And the only reason Westbrook steps over him is because Westbrook got a triple-double again. 29 points, 14 assists, 10 rebounds. He's like, oh, I got ups, you think? Oh, oh. By the way, we might see that one again later. It's called top plays. Thunder win at 123-114. OKC led for all but 30 seconds in this game. And you heard me say it, that is triple-double number 14 of Westbrook's season. Most in the league by two. As in two times, because Ben Simmons is second on this list with seven. It is the third straight season that Westbrook is averaging a triple-double for the season. Yesterday, you called him La 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 Luka. La La Luka. Doncic in the Mavs, hosting the Clippers. Clips, defense early. Yeah, it's keying on the rookie. Forces him into a turnover there. It's a bad pass, ill-advised. Later, Doncic, air ball from deep. He was actually 0 for 8 from 3. A six game going 0 for 5 or worse. And then you're just going to Hulk Hogan that jersey. You're going to just rip it. Six points, two of seven shooting in the first half. Not good, brother. Later, third quarter, Luka on track. The handle on point. Split the defenders. He had 17 points, seven rebounds, six assists. You got former Clipper, DeAndre Jordan. The beneficiary here of the lob from Dennis Smith Jr., who was back in the starting lineup. Back period after missing six games amid trade rumors. He had 17 points. Did Smith. Then Doncic, couple of his 17, step back. Mavs snap a four-game skid. They win 106-98. It was a woes bomb last night, and we're still unpacking it this morning. The Grizzlies are now open to shopping Mark Gasol and Mike Conley, which means... They could be on the move now before the February 7th trade deadline or sometime in the offseason. Now, I like to unpack immediately. I don't let the suitcase just sit around. So, good morning, Woj. What made the Grizzlies want to do this right now? <laughs> good morning, Nicole. Hi. Nicole, 12 of 13 losses in the West. And the realization in Memphis that they can no longer compete to be a Western Conference playoff team. Uh, Marcus Saul, Mike Conley have been the cornerstones of that franchise. You know, two trips to the conference semifinals, the conference finals over seven seasons, but they missed the playoffs last year. They're headed that way again. And the organization, you know, has talked to Conley and Gasol about this. Um, and they wanted it, you know, out in the open. They wanted the players to know and they wanted the rest of the league to know that they are willing to listen now to offers on both players leading into that February 7th trade deadline. And, you know, this is an organization that is getting ready to rebuild around their, you know, excellent rookie forward, Jaron Jackson Jr. Okay, so what are the most likely landing spots for, for both of them? Well, Dallas has shown some relatively recent interest in Marcus Gasol. Uh, you know, the, the hard part of trading for either of them are the financials, and that's part of the reason Memphis wants to move them out. Gasol can be a free agent this summer. Uh, he's got a player option for over $25 million next year, but Mike Conley is guaranteed uh, next year and then into 2020-21, almost $67 million. And... Uh, he's 31 years old. He's had some injuries, uh, but there's a market for Mike Connolly. There are teams uh, who, you know, his contract will line up with their payroll. Uh, but the question for Memphis is going to be, what can they get back for these two? Teams are going to be willing to trade for them, but can Memphis get a package of young players, draft picks, expiring contracts? They may get one of those three. You know, I think they're hopeful to get two of those three elements but the cost, the prohibitive cost of these salaries 
you know, is going to make it trickier to trade either or both players. Gosh, it could be the end of an era, too, because Gasol and Conley have started 633 games together. 633 more games than any other active duo. Thank you, Woj. All right, let's get to uh, men behaving badly here. We got Devin Booker and the Suns taking on the Timberwolves' third quarter. He and Gorgie Jang get into it because Jang's elbow gets into Booker. Headband or not, that's going to hurt. So Booker's like, say it again. What'd you say? Say it again. No, 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 no. Forget about the inbound. No, let's talk about this now. I have a headband. You don't. <laughs> Is that what he said? Referee's going to look at it. They both get tossed, and Jang's like, no, 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 we're doing this now. Where? Where are we going? Okay. Coach, let me go. Coach, let me go. Here's Jen. Everybody can see I was clear. I haven't thrown a punch. He's trying to hit me. I just laugh it off. Because I know, like, in this league, a lot of guys think they're tough. And I'm not going to keep it in man. I'm not supposed to be here, and I'm here, you know? A lot of the guys think they're tough, and they're not. Seemed like you guys wanted to meet up in the hallway after that, that happened, or did everybody keep you separated, or what happened? Yeah, you wanted, I want to just exchange jersey with him. <laughs> oh, just a jersey oh, yeah. exchange. Just, just the gender review. Is that all it is? It's all right. Uh huh. Booker left without talking to reporters. The Wolves would leave. The yeah, Knicks host the Rockets tonight, which means it's a good time to remind you about some of these moments the best in MSG history. 28th of March, 1995, in his fifth game after coming out of retirement, Michael Jordan dropped 55 at Madison Square Garden. He had 20 points in the first quarter, and then he assisted to Bill Weddington in a game-winning dunk. February 2nd, 2009, Kobe scored 61, 19 for 31 from the field, 20 for 20 from the line, one of his six 60-point games in his career. Two days after that, LeBron James had 52, 11 assists and 9 rebounds and a win over the Knicks. It was the second straight year he had a game with 50 points and 10 assists at the Garden. And then a little bit later, February the 27th, 2013, Steph Curry scored a career-high 54 points, including 11 threes, the most ever in a game at Madison Square Garden. It was the first 50-point game of Curry's career. For more on what Harden could do tonight, back to Greeny in New York. All right, Nicole, thank you. Jalen's here. So let me ask you this. I mean, here, Madison Square Garden, the Mecca, the world's most famous arena, but the Knicks have been so bad for so long. And this season, <laughs> clearly, as you would say, they're not trying for Zion. Do players still get excited to come in here and play on the road? I see how it just pains you to say that. Yes, it does. As somebody that lives so close to MSG, but yet so far away from watching a contending team play. <laughs> Correct. So it's not necessarily about the Knicks. It's about the stage. And MSG presents that. New York City magnifies that for all of the players when they come here. The knowledge that the fans have, the history of that great team, of that great, of this great city. So it's not, it's better when they are good. Like fortunately for me, when I was in the league, I got a chance to play against the Knicks when they were really good and had some of their best players in the franchise's history. So it does stink that they're not as good when the best players come to town to put on a show, but definitely players still want to put on the show when they come play here. Yeah, next year when they have Zion and KD, everything will be much better. Oh, oh, oh. Quickly, James Harden <laughs> putting up all these ridiculous numbers without CP3, without Capella, but is there a concern that he wears himself out over the course of a long season? Not at all. You never get tired of playing offense. You never get tired of shooting the ball. Guess where he rests? On defense. <laughs> he does not play it in any way, shape, or form. He uses all of his energy offensively. We are just minutes away from getting started with Jalen and Maria and D. Wood and Dominique Foxworth. A whole lot more. Get up top of the hour. Give some love to the big guys up front. Well done, J-Mac. All right, NBA countdown Wednesday, 7 Eastern. Then getting things started leading up to the 8 o'clock tip between the Spurs and the Sixers. And then it's the Nuggets against the surging suddenly surging anyway jazz who are playing better of late although they did just get beat at home by the blazers entering the night okc and portland three four in the west were uh, very similar in terms of the record and of the two okc seems like the more feared from front offices in the west for the simple fact of the westbrook george pairing and then the enormity of, of stephen adams also collectively you're talking about a group that whether it was together or with george and indiana and the group in okc they're, they're familiar with deep playoff runs so they played tonight in okc westbrook getting ready to do his thing and nba is is the home of high level trolling evan turner oh did he rock the baby it was subtle what did russ think about that i didn't even see it honestly Honestly, you can rock right back to Portland. <laughs> <laughs> okay, rock it on back to Portland. 
Next possession. It was subtle, I thought. Westbrook. It's the three. Now four point game. Westbrook. Oh, this is high, high, high sauce. We're going to give that back. Oh, we need to see that one again. He had all kinds of fanciness going on there. Paul George, 36 and five steals. Nasty. Westbrook hangs, hits. Buck 30 to go, Thunder up nine. No one is more furious at rims than Westbrook. Yep, you do have a whole lot of bounce. Westbrook, 14 triple double, 29, 14, and 10, and they win by nine. That's 14 triple doubles, as we mentioned, which gives him twice as many as any other player in the league. Ben Simmons has got seven, and for the third consecutive season, he's averaging a triple double on the year. But again, it's not the new shiny thing, so we, we don't make nearly as big a deal. It was a big deal before. Now I guess it isn't. People gotta let me know when it's not a big deal. Seems like it should still be a big deal. You know who's a big deal? That guy, Luka Doncic. He's the new big deal. He's not averaging a triple double. The pick and roll. Clippers did a good job defending that one. There was nowhere to go with it. Tie game, Doncic. He is in no man's land. They're doubling, trying to frustrate this rookie, and they did. He destroyed his jersey. Just six points, two of seven shooting in the first half. Getting things back on track in the third, splits the defenders there. Nice handle, the big guy. Dennis Smith Jr. returning after a six game absence and was scoring all over the floor. This was the point guard they drafted not last summer, but the summer before. He had 17 points and eight rebounds in the game. Either showcasing his talents for the home team or for those that might covet him. Luca, kick ahead. A little tic-tac-toe, the hockey assist. DeAndre Jordan with the alley-oop. Four assists in the game for Smith. Back to Doncic, 17-7-6. Mavs snap a four-game skid. Not going to be playing for the Blazers with Thunder next season, but he's going to be playing against them. Star guards were battling in the third. Here, Russell Westbrook picks up the rebound. Long pass to Terrence Ferguson. Lay it up and in. Thunder up by eight. Then C.J. McCollum. Off balance. Beautiful. Blazers only trail by one. Thunder up four. Westbrook. Gets by McCollum, fancy dribble, and hits the layup. And there's some trash talking there. Watch him put it in the fifth. Blow by him. Power for passing. McCollum, the rip from Westbrook. And then hits the brakes, and belts the three. McCollum at 21 points, five of six and three in the third, finished with 31. Thunder up six in the fourth. Paul George is steal. And the flush. Thunder up by eight. Blazers down 10. Dame Lillard makes the highlight right there. Blazers down seven. It's Dame again. And the foul. Blazers down four. Lillard somehow managed to get it to go. He finished with 34 points. Next Thunder possession. Westbrook. He too is athletic. Answers Lillard with a fancy finish. Two minutes to go. Thunder up seven. George's fifth steal of the game. Way to protect the basketball there. George had 36 points in the game. Eighth 35 point game of the season. Westbrook the drive. Rising up for the huge slam there. Says, I've got ups. I can do some things. Got a triple double as usual. Thunder win.